Well, one of the, the TEAK standards, I think it's 3A, I was looking them up, um, requ requires questioning of standard theories based on evidence. And I guess it worries me a little bit as a scientist because I only feel like I can question theories in my own field. And in, as a high school level student, I'm not sure if I would have the sophistication to kind of weed through this. I, I, I like the idea of students questioning things. Students should always question things and be encouraged to question things. But when it comes to tenets of science, things that we have you know, published tens of thousands of papers on, you know, when you start opening that door to allowing um, everything to be put into question, it just kind of gives the message to students that, well, we think this is true now, but tomorrow, who knows? You know, so you really, you know, we, questioning is good, but needs to be done in the proper sort of context. And when you allow that kind of wording, you know, I could, if I wanted to, I could easily use that to bring intelligent design into my biology classroom. I could also bring it into my classroom to bring the, you know, sort of gravity is a big myth, you know, because we don't, we don't understand gravity yet. I, that is something I could talk about being a physicist in a strange land here of embryos. So um, we're not, so that's my point. I guess what, I, I, I guess my, my hesitation for allowing too much questioning at the high school level is that if you are only con uh, focused on the controversies, you'll never get the sound foundation that you can have bef before you can ask these questions. You know, we teach our students Newton's laws of motion. We teach our students, you know, F equals MA and all the good, you know, F equals MG for gravity and all these good things. But it's not until they're in almost a graduate school level that they can kind of appreciate the little minute details that we have not worked out yet. And um, I'm not an expert in biology, so your comparative biology might be apt for high school kids. It might not be, I don't know. But I feel like too much emphasis is placed on showing the controversies of science and not showing what we know to be true right now. And especially at a high school level, when students are just grasping these concepts, if you throw too much controversy at them, I think that they lose their faith a little bit in the scientific method.